Can't hear. Okay, yeah. Reese, can you hear me? Yes, 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 okay, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I could hear myself too. Okay, so we're just gonna run it like League Zero. Okay, all right, let's get this shit started. What? Why? <laughs> Two hours to fix it, guys. We gotta hurry. Just started. Just started. Just started. Just started. Just started. <laughs> Who's Michael's worker, Chris? Yeah, Chris. Okay. 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 Um, is it live now? Let us know when it's live so we could do the introduction. Uh, Ryan, is it live yet? Let us know so we could we could do the introduction. You want to start off? Yeah. Yes, to high chat. Hurry up, hurry up. Slash H. There you go. It, is it live? Okay, yeah, I, I could hear the game now. I could hear the game. Okay, we're gonna get this match right on the ray. It's gonna be a match between Hunter College versus New Rochelle Huguenots once again. These teams have went head to head before, but they're going head to head once again to, you know, put it all on the line here. Hunter College playing to make sure this <laughs> their earlier match wasn't a fluke victory. And it looks like RBM actually just kicking things off early. Gets a headshot onto Ling Ling, but taking him out of the fight effectively. Tyron is not gonna care. He's gonna go in for some slam. Get some early ultra. Rex is falling low as a result, and he's gonna back up. Looks like Hunter College is getting early secure on the point. Now, you know, seeing that Hunt, uh, Hunter College is running a, a full-on GOATS team composition where uh, Team New Rochelle is running a 2-2-2, two -two -two. this might be a little bit harder to break into while they go into the point. They might take a lot of spam damage, uh, and as we're seeing, Trigger fall to 2 MLG right extremely there. Extremely low right there, and it looks like he's going to get caught out. Not quite. He manages to get... Oh, nope, never mind. He actually falls. A bit of Cassus Curse. And looks like Hunter College is going to secure the point. 10% on the board already. Looks like they're getting some old charts online. Sexy Bach is so close to his EMP. And looks like Team Nourishal needs to make switches, some or some switches right now. They tried the 2 2 2 composition with Dive with the Hammond, but it doesn't, doesn't, didn't look like it really worked out. Except it, instead, Team Nourishal, uh, Team Hunter College got a lot of old charts off of that. So I, I think the. Best call to be uh, made right now Sexy is Bach finding a free pick onto Wu Wow. That's just staggering Huguenots, it's even more so than they thought. And Kogamori is going to make sure Trigger doesn't get any weight. And Kogamori is just going to get really aggressive here. He has a lot of charge. He's going to build a lot of ultimate charge in no time. He's super close to that Graviton, 75%. However, speaking of ultimate, Cool Maniac is already towards his Dragon Blade. Now, we know Cool Maniac and we know his Dragon Blades are extremely potent. We can see a triple kill or a quadruple kill at any second now. Yes, but this is a Sombra Goat's composition that they're running. This EMP could change so much coming to this next fight right now. And Sexy Back needs to land a huge EMP to disable all Huguenots. Looks like he's going. He just finds a free hack onto Tyrant. He can't do anything from there. He's going to have to back up. Cool Maniac finds a free pick onto RBM. He's going to dash back. He's going really aggressive with the play. He, has, he gets hacked. Shattered, stunned, EMP. That's a lot of investment. They're shutting down Cool Minute. They know what he could do last, from last time. They're not taking any chances at all. Yes, and now at this point, since they lost the fight, they really need to go back and change their composition to GOATS composition, that, as we know, because they are just not going to win this Sombra, comp Sombra GOATS with the composition they have, which is Hammer and running Hammer and, and as a dive 2 2 2. That is a really hard composition to break, you know, GOATS with. So let's see what they could do right now. The Might last push coming in. Might a little too late. Trigger gets hacked once again. They're not really dealing with the Sombra at all. They don't have any stunts to deal with her. They're just going to get free, free hacks whenever she wants. And looks like Wubop falls early. Ling Ling is out of mech. And Tyrant's going to get hacked. He's not going to be able to roll away or protect his head. And he's just going to fall. A really decisive victory for Hunter College on this one round here. Now, what can Huguenots change for this next upcoming map? 
they need to take care of the Sombra. That has to be the answer to this right now. What we are seeing uh, right here is that Huguenots are being very stubborn and they're playing this 2 2 2 composition into the GOATs. You know, especially running that you know, Hunter College is running this Sombra GOATs composition. It will be super hard for them to get anything done. Since they're running this Hammond, every single time the Hammond goes in, he'll just get bashed by the Brigetta and just uh, um, hacked by Sexy Back's Sombra. So they really can't get anything done while playing this composition. So they need to find a way to either stun, stun the um, Sombra or e just be very aggressive to the point where the Sombra doesn't even get the time to do anything with them. Exactly. Now, Reven's in the last match once again. Huguenots actually did take a victory on this map here. Seems that their gold composition, their try is very tried and true, very potent. And looks like, speaking of which, Tyrant's gonna go in. He's gonna get a lot of cleave damage in off there. He's already 12% towards Oh, However, Rex is falling low, but he's at 44. He's already halfway there. He needs some, Tyrant is gonna need some support. He's gonna get stunned. He's gonna get melted. Trigger finds the pick onto Emma Ouija. However, Kokomori finds the pick onto Tyrant. Cool Maniac is getting the kills, so, so is Wubop. And looks like Hunter College is gonna get pushed back here. And they're just cleaning this up. They got the first, they got the first blood on to the point now regza was ahead in the ultimate charge game you know by a lot at the at the beginning of that fight there but then he fell and he wasn't able to charge up that old oh, tyrant however is already at 93 a few more like one or two more swings and he's already there he's gonna get a shatter before regza might even know what hits him yeah and you what new Rochelle, that was really nice for new Rochelle. And what they ha have to do right now is psych ultimate cycle really well that was it a very good there. stun and it looks like the shatter comes out it doesn't find anybody the bubble blocks it and tyrant's gonna get Body. He's taking a lot of damage. He's getting stunned, discord, and hacked. Those three is a recipe for disaster for any main tank. Doesn't matter who you play. And Kokomori is a lot of it's very high energy as he watches uh Ling Ling commit the suicide. Well, just like I was about to say, they did a very good job taking that first. Oh, point. actually a free pick! Trigger gets a free pick. He's gonna they're gonna go into using rally. The EMP is gonna is it gonna shut them down? Turn falls low, but who cares? They're still going in. They have the rally armor going in. Trigger falls low and it looks like Huguenizer. They were stopped in their tracks. You know, a sexy box just put a knife in their tires and you know stopped their pace. They were speeding in with the rally. They got the free pick, but it just wasn't enough. Once Tyron went down, they didn't have that 500 health big 2000 health shield in front of them and cool meaning is going to get hacked he's going to get punished for his aggression a bit there and it looks like huguenots are going to push the left side going to protect um cool maniac against the sombra but it looks like tyrant actually finds the fire the fire strike kill onto moeg no team to having the brigitte here however tyrant is, is going to get hacked the huge raviton is going to come out however the transcend is going to keep the team alive and the sound bear from the opposing team is going to keep them alive and bammy's going to get pinned the bubble is there to protect them tyrant is get, it's a real scrappy fight here tyrant finds the pick over to regza and rbm finds the pick onto wubop it's a really back and forth match here but tyrant finds two picks into this fight rbm finds two picks himself it's going to be a head-to-head -head battle tyrant is going to get knocked onto the floor by the counter stun and he's going to for an aggressive shadow there make a sexy box visible once again to the naked eye the sun the sun is going to come in onto him but not the damage however cool manic is going to get caught out he's between a brick and a right here that's no place he wants to be bambi is between a brick and a right here that's no place he wants to be either and somehow hunter college just they got their claws in they are not ready to give up this point just yet yes that was so, so good by uh, hunter college right there they really Kept, kept their beliefs in their players and kept it alive until their players came back. Now, they, Hunter College is another EMP. If Huguenots cannot spot this out, they will be stopped at their tracks. And as just as I say it, they get grabbed off the spawn and comes the EMP. It does not look like they will be taking this point or this game anytime soon with these ultimates. Yeah, they just need an answer for that Sombra. They just need an answer. Like, they need a lifeline. They need a stun. They need something because the somber EMPs is just coming in and they're shutting them down. We saw when Trigger found the free kill onto Jeffreezy. No ultimates were invested. I didn't even see the kill coming. Jeffreezy was just caught out. That was a simple mistake. And they went in with the rally armor. They were full, they were they were all guns firing on all cylinder. But the EMP came out. Tyrant didn't have enough support without the abilities, and then he just died. And then the Huguenots just didn't have anything. They didn't have the spearhead for that push. Yes, exactly. And coming into this, you know, we saw what could happen. Oh, oh my God! What a nice whip shot. Putting triggered in his place. Gonna cancel the mercy res there. And you don't necessarily want to be resing in front of somebody that can stun you because that's a long cooldown on that onto that mercy res. And with Brigitte having one of the most infamous stuns in the game, that is like, it's it's a it's a bit reckless. I'll give it that. Definitely. And you know, as we talked about it, you know, we saw how bad 
Your team New Rochelle got just picked apart by Hunter just because of this positional understanding of you know, goats. Yeah. Because when you play goats, all you have to do is understand your position. You know, play according to it, help teammates out, and really just give them the support they need. Team, team, um, New Rock just couldn't do it. You know, there's a lot of times where you know Tyran, their main tank player, would be getting hacked, and there would not, there'd be nothing being done from his team. But the, we did saw that first push. The first push into the second point of Lijiang was really good. What do you think really worked out for them at that push? And what do they, do, you know, what do they have to do? for these future games coming in? Well, I think first push was mostly because of the fact that Samba wasn't able to set up. You know, whereas the, the uh, Hunter College was defending the point, Samba can set up in any kind of sneaky little nook or cranny that she wanted to. However, as the points open up, both teams are coming from spawn, and Samba doesn't have to, Samba doesn't have anywhere to go necessarily. She kind of has to follow the grapevine, follow the stream. And, you know, Taking away Sombra's ability to hide in the corner or just out of line of direct line of sight, you know, it just makes it, you know, taking away that ability, it makes it takes away from Sombra's kit significantly, and it just allowed Huguenot to take that first point with ease. Yeah, and it also looked like Team uh, Team Hunter College really practiced this Sombra composition because a lot of times we've seen, you know, uh, from um, the Cool Maniac's perspective, the Brigitte player for the Team Huguenots, that he would go in for a dash, and in that split second, he would get hacked right then and there. And, you know, Brigitte, a hacked Brigitte is really no use to a team when a team could just, you know, pinpoint the Brigitte down and, you know, just support, uh, focus fire her. That's what we saw. A lot of times, we, you know, Cool Maniac or Team Huguenots couldn't really do anything because, you know, their hack, the hacks were coming off or whatever was happening. So I feel like, you know, personally, I feel like when Team Huguenots, what they need to do is they need to really keep up with this Sombra and their ultimate track. You know, they really need to all attract this ultimate, uh, Sombra's ultimate and just go on from there. You know, that would be the best thing to do. But, you know, who knows? Upset could always come back. You know, nobody knows. what This is Overwatch. There's always something happening. So, you mm -hmm. know, from seeing these two teams, what are you expecting them to run since the next map will be Watchpoint Gibraltar coming in? Well, they have two choices here. They can, one, anticipate the Sombra once again and have stuns to protect the back line. You know, a McCree stun, a Brigitte, something that would make Sombra really scared to pop to pop her face and try to get a hack off. Or, the, uh, on the other end of the spectrum, you can run a full dive and just have your, your team members so mobile, so aggressive, that Sombra won't have time for a hack. She'll be too busy caught up in the, in the mess. Yeah, but you know, as we seen Team Huguenots trying that dive composition that we talked about in the first point of the Lijiang Tower, you know, Chris, their Chris or um, you know Tyrant, their main tank player, really couldn't do anything with uh, you know that um, the Hammond right there, the wrecking ball, because he was just getting hacked every single time. He will. He even showed himself against the team composition. So at that moment, what do you do against that Sombra for dive? Like, do you dive the Sombra or do? How do you play this line of sight? Well, you wouldn't necessarily be diving the Sombra. It's almost in a way. It's similar to kind of counter Nefera, as in you can do your own thing, Sombra. And I'm just gonna kill the rest of your team. You know, while Summer is out scouting and, and invisible, you know, there's still five members of the of the enemy team that's that is visible, that's kind of waiting to be dip, to be dove upon. Oh, looks like as we're talking about dive, looks like Team Hunter Col uh, team, uh, team Hunter College might go with that dive composition that we were just talking about. You know, this looks pretty good. Yeah. I haven't seen a Doomfist Genji lineup in a while but you know as we say we go do go over to diva which is probably the better pick when it comes coming into dive they're going in full dive with the widow genji managing a lot of line aside and then we see in uh, team new rochelle they have this orissa composition yeah. now they're running this weird composition with the orissa diva and they're kind of like they want to be stationary they yeah. want this kind of like an anti-dive composition. They want them to dive them so they could, you know, get the most value out of it. Speaking of things we haven't seen, when Crispy Wonton is kind of making his debut a bit here. As we, uh, Hugh Hunter College has made a bit of a sneaky sub. And looks like Kokomori just gets caught out a bit. He gets naded and stunned and then everybody just shoots at him and he can't do anything. The Defense Majors can't protect him against so much. Oh, Ling Ling just barely, you know, he's clinging into his, he's staying in his mech by a thread. So low there, but not quite. Close but no cigar. 
Exactly, and we're seeing Ana coming on from both sides. Now, this Ana could be a big... Uh, oh my god, talking about Ana, Wubop just finds out... Finds the pick onto the lone Baby Diva there. Now, it looks like Huguenots are just going to play line of sight here. They know that Emma Ouija is on the Widow. He can get some... He can get some picks here. And the last thing anybody wants is to get headshotted. Who Mane finds the pick onto Chris Wanta. Shuriken finds the pick onto Emma Ouija, just shutting him down. He, he didn't expect to see him there. And Rex is just going to have to run away. He's going to have to tuck his tail between his legs if apes had tails. <laughs> but now... We're as I was talking about, the Anas in this competition could make could really change the game when it comes to this, uh, uh, you know, the two Genjis and them playing this, uh, you know, doing the Nano Dragon Blade, you know. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what these Anas could do and when these uh, dra Nano Dragon Blades could come through and if they could be big right here. And it looks like Kogamori is getting really aggressive here. He's gonna he's gonna push Ling Ling into that server room and a oh huge my God. Anthony coming in here from Jeff Freezy. This is gonna be a huge potential for Hunter Class to dive onto them. Emma Wiki finds a pick onto Cool Mane. That's the Genji out of the play. How about the Pokemon? He finds the Diva Bomb just before he gets the mech. He's gonna throw it out. Doesn't find anybody. Lingering finds the pick onto Emma Ouija, shutting him down. There's no stun or high noon. Trick is going in for a high noon of his own. Finds the pick onto Jeff Freezy and Hunter College over in a flash. He's gonna have to, they're gonna have to back up. They lost two of their most valuable members. Yes, and there was a lot of ultimates used on that fight. You know, maybe a bit of overuse with that high noon right there because they the team was already backing out from the fight but you know it's better to just make things you know, confirm things than let it just go yeah high noon is a bit of a is a bit of a controversial oh how it could be, it is a one-shot kill however you are a very vulnerable target during that time yeah, we might see a potential looks like we see a right Dragon here. Blade coming in for Crispy Wanton. First of the series, find the pick on the trigger. Helps Jeff Freezy get the pick onto the Tyrant. And it looks like it just opened the fight wide open. Cool Mane gets doing his things of his own. He gets oh my God. with the Dragon Blade. He's going in for Jeff Freezy. He's not stopping here. Is he going to find the poor kill? Nope, because Rexa is an angry Winston. And he's going to send them back to the spawn room. And it looks like Hunter College just sinking their teeth into this pale. They're going to keep this moving no matter what. However, you're going to not ready to give this up just yet. The Tyrant's going to be back in the point. He has that damage bomb go out. Ling Ling finds the D-Mech onto Kogamore. However, Bambi falls. Trickard falls. There's two down at currently. Ling is out of mech and it looks like they just they should just hold their oath and give them the point here. Contest with their life. Get them to under a minute maybe. And however, nope. Hunter College is going to take the first point. Three minutes, 30 seconds left on the clock. And you know, that's not a bad time for taking the first point. You know, a lot, a lot of times people have the hardest point to crack is the first point because of all these high grounds and you know, the corners that you really have to play around. So, you know, very good stuff from both of the teams right here. We're saying, seeing some good things. Now, I'm, you know, I don't know that Blade, you know, that Blade from uh, New Rochelle High School may have been an over commitment uh, right there because, you know, most of the team was dead and they still use the Nano Blade, you know. But it really depends on the Genji and the Ana if they could get their, get their ultimates back. Oh, back. Tyrant doesn't quite find the pull onto Rexy. He's going to be able to escape. And it looks like Chrissy Wanton's onto that Doomfist now. Hydration vibes, anybody? He's going to go in. He's trying to get it any kind of one-shot kill. And a huge name from Jeff that goes under. Oh, under we are saying Emma Ouija special. And the hammer back at it again. And the sound barrier is going to come out, keeping everybody a tip-top tape. And Hunter College actually is going to take second point before, before anybody knows what happened. Wow, that was such a good fight. Such a good dive right here. You know, because, you know, in these type of situations, when you're running Orisa, you're kind of, you know, kind of out of your place. Because everybody will just dive, you know, Cool Manny get trying his best to keep this point and burn the minutes uh, off the clock. But, you know, like I was saying, maybe running the Orisa in this point is not the best idea because if the other team runs die, you really have no answer. Yeah, and it looks like William is just going to get D-Mech there. And oh Pokemon with a three-man bomb! Sending everybody of Huguenots, all three members, Tyrant, Bambi, and Trigger back to the spawn room, having them scratching their heads, thinking, what can we do to stop the push? Because they have so much momentum, they might as well be an avalanche. There is a lot of moments that come out, and just as I talked about there, the change is coming through. We are seeing Tyrant in on Winston right now, which might be a much better pick than, you know, the one he had last time. Wubop almost gets pushed off the map. The supports are helping each other. Yeah, it looks like Rex is going to get really aggressive here, but he's going to pay for his aggression. And look, oh! Tyrant gets swept as he as he makes his landing. And Trick is going to have to deal with Pokemon somehow, and it looks like it's going to be a flash for the hammer. He's one slippery baby diva. No no diva mech to take a lot of damage. With. It looks like they're just going to stagger her. That was and a pretty good stagger. Yeah, that was a really good stagger. Kokomori is trying his best to dodge some shots from from Triggered. Yeah, However, but can we talk about Zephryzy here? 
His la and aggressive nades are so useful on these fights. Every fight, he's landing these very aggressive na uh, anti nades that are really helping out Team uh, Hunter on these ex you know very aggressive dives. So yeah. I'm really excited to see this Ana player. And he's you know. been very conservative with his. Oh, looks. Oh, oh my tongue, guys. We get a nano, but we get one kill, two kills. This man is a living highlight reel. He finds a third, three piece. It's a hat trick for Cool Maniac. And you know that fight went really went for New Rochelle High School, if you would say so, because the diva got nanoed right there, right before they lost her. You know, right, right before everybody died in the hands of Cool Maniac. So that was really good. They did a nano blade. They got uh, killed everybody and got an out, uh, ultimate out instead. So you know, we're seeing some cool stuff now. If we look at the ultimate uh, economy, yeah, he's Hunter gonna have College. to have struggling in terms of economy. They only have the diva bomb and the zombie. The zombie is gonna keep everybody alive. Hopefully, give them some time to charge their own ult where the Diva Bomb is going to be able to create some space. But Bambi gets picked off in the in the neck of things. He's in the wrong neck of the woods. He gets punched into a wall and looks like Tyrant also in the wrong neck of the woods. Where are you going, buddy? He gets caught out on the um, in enemy territory. Looks like Ling is going to eat the High Noon, but he's going to pay with his mech. Cool Manic just trying his best. The Sambear is going to come out, keep the rest of the members of Huguenots alive. Sambear is going to come out for 100 College as well, keeping everybody alive. The Diva Bomb manages to find Wubop. They don't have the anti -Nate. They don't have the Nano Boot. He's going to die with such a potent ultimate. Trigger gets his um, Pulse Bomb eaten, and looks like it's, it's really it's really desperate right now for Huguenots. It's not what they want to see. Ling needs to throw his bomb. Is it going to find anybody? He gets put into a wall for his end. Oh, and looks like RPM is going to get caught out by the Diva Bomb. Another oh. Nano Blade. It's going to be a last ditch ever here for Cool Maniac. He's going to have to come up big. He gets punched. He doesn't find anybody. Actually, he finds one. I hold my tongue, but he gets taken up by Regza. And it looks like MOE is going to look, look for some shots here. Just can't quite find Bambi, but he finds him right there, right above the cart. Trick is onto the tracer. The recoil comes out here. Halfway to another pulse bomb. Going to find the pick onto MOE. Without the sun, it's going to be huge. It's going to open up an opportunity for Huguenots. It's right here. It's right in front of them. They have to take out Regza. Regza finds the pick onto Tricker. Now Regza is falling a bit low himself. As Cool Maniac switches onto the hitscan. We don't see that very often. But a Diva Bomb coming out here from Kogamori and it finds Bambi once again. Huguenots are not going to be able to stop this push just in time. Cool Mane gets caught out just by Crispy Wonton's Doomfist, which actually went underrated. The Nanobus went onto him and he actually found several picks, found constant stuns onto the members of Huguenots. That was really good. I haven't seen a proper use of Doomfist in a long time, but that was a really nice, you know. That was a really nice push from both teams. We have to give credit to Hunter, um, Team New Rochelle. They did an amazing job holding off in, in that, in, on that defense. They brought down Hunter College from uh, from 3 minutes and 40 seconds to only 14 seconds. That was a very good hold. They pro they almost took this point, you know, almost kept them from taking the last point, which would have been very crucial. But now I'm excited to see what you know hunter call um what hunter college brings to the table for defense because they've been looking very strong this entire series coming up yeah huguenots was getting pushed back a bit and there was a point in time on the th on, on the very final stretch of stretch of land that they had to push the payload where they seemed like they sunk their cleats in and managed to keep a valiant hold for just a little bit you know, it, was, it burned a lot of time, as you said, and Hunter College managed to find the answer to that. They won the team fight that was necessary and pushed it all the way. 13 seconds left on the clock. Hunter College, it seems like they're going to be going for a very high DPS comp. They have the double projectile, Chris Wanton on the Junker and MOEG on the Hanzo, maybe. Yeah, that could also that that composition could also be count as uh, anti dive composition because of all the you know uh, whenever you you really cannot pinpoint down any of these characters on Hunter College you know uh, team yeah. lineup and Hanzo would be you know just be able However, to. However, with the double projectile, they don't quite have the stuns or the or the instant gratification of a hit scan in DPS to stop Cool Maniac in his track. He's gonna be dashing around. He's gonna get a lot of value. Yeah, and and we've seen what he could do when. He is given the right resources. We see uh, also he triggered on the widow here. Just trying to find the just trying to find the head of the Maybe a Zen. Oh, looks like he finds Emma That's a Hanzo out of the fight. That's a quick headshot. Tyrant's gonna be quick on the chase. He's gonna go for the dive. However, Trick is gonna get caught out by Kokomori, horror movie style. 
a little bit of lag. It's not going to matter. Tyrant gets put to sleep as it looks like Jeffrey's just going to run away. He's not going to deal with that. He's not going to deal with one angry Winston. Trigger making the swap onto the chase here. You know, a high mobility, no vertical mobility, but high horizontal mobility. And it's just get a lot of uncontested damage in. Yeah, and just as we see, Hunter College also swaps up to the Winston. Looks like both of these, you know, team competition really like to play the Winston. In coming into the oh my god, a huge, huge but a anti huge anti me coming out for Wuwa. A Nana Boost here, and this is going to be a, you know, gift wrap for a clean fight. However, it's not going to be used. The Primal is going to be used instead. Going to find the picks. Lingmi finds the pick onto Amoigi despite having no mech. Tyrant's going to find a beat down onto Kogomori. And Bami's going to find the final kill onto Rexa and Lingling. Ling. Finishing off Crispy Wonton, avenging his fallen brother Triggered. Yeah, and I'm really liking what we're. Uh, I'm really liking what we are seeing from this uh, New Rochelle High School team. They feel it feels like they have adapted to the playstyle, and just look at how they're playing. They're waiting for their first pick. They're being patient, waiting for the other team to make a positional mistake and then capitalize on they're it. They're doing a really amazing job of capitalizing on opportunities. Now, as I speak of opportunity, it looks like Hunter Color has the opportunity to kill Tyrant here. Now an opportunity to kill the rest of the team. As Tyrant gets caught out of it, the Rift Rider finds a pick onto Cool Mania. That's their DPS out of the way. Now, Crispy wants them just rain and bounce from above. Now, I thought only Justice Rain, I thought Justice Rain for above is for Pharah. However, it looks like Crispy Wanton is going to rain some bounce from above on himself. <laughs> Interesting analogy, but, you know, uh, to top off all that, you know, what I want to say is... You know, if you're Hunter College, you'd gladly take that fight, no problem, because they did blow two ultimates right there, and your spawn is right on down the block. But the thing is, Hunter College also managed to build more ultimates with that one fight. Now, Hunter College is up in ultimate economy when Neurochal High School only has three ultimates. An aggressive Diva Bomb only finds Bammy. Bammy seems to be getting caught out a lot by these Diva Bombs. And MOEG doing the rest of the work with the dragon with the dragon strike and the body shot yep and if you're hunting the near Soul high school right now you just want to kill yourself as soon as possible reset and come back with the ultimate you already have you know you know at this point you should know that you're up in ultimate economy and you should be able to pull up some you know some upsets in these fights these ultimates have to be used properly. Now, as we look at Hunter College, they do have Transcendence online, so Cool Maniac needs to be very careful uh, when he's uh, using his Dragon Blade. Now, it looks like the fight is going to get underway. It looks like Huguenots are going to take a high ground approach there. Just contesting that little top window, getting Crispy Wonton off of his pedestal, and they're going to get really aggressive here with the Diva Bomb. Doesn't find anybody quite, and he's going to get back into mech here before anything bad happens. However, Trigger falls to the hands of a Storm Arrow. Terran's gonna have to back up here. He doesn't want to go in without his DPS. Now, Hunter College just finding the pick necessary, just sending them back. Oh, this However, might cool be a minute. Finds the pick, but doesn't look like he has enough health to get really aggressive on it. He can't capitalize fully. But that was a very crucial pick because now they could heal up, come back, and use that Dragon Blade because there is no Zenyatta to worry about. And it looks like the Nano Boost comes out onto Rexa. It's gonna get the damage necessary to get Kumin and low enough for the trap to bite his leg and just finish him off. Now, Crispy Wonton has been on fire. He's been uncontested necessarily on this jump. And now that kind of con that kind of contradicts my predictions there. I was thinking that with the double with the double projectile DPS, Cool Manic will be able to roam free and just do whatever he wants. However, that trap is just is potent, and the Winston, the pressure from the Winston is also kind of complimenting that. And looks like speaking of Crispy Wonton, he's gonna have his Riptide online here. Now Huguenots make the switch onto the Reinhardt, but the look at the Riptide is gonna be able to shut them down, send them back to spawn room without investing too much. And Crispy Wonton finds two as I say that. Terran's gonna be caught out here without much help from his team, and he's gonna fall. And another reset for Huguenots here. They need to figure something out here. They have ultimates online. It's it's in their best interest to use it. Yes, and you know Crispy Wonton has been popping off all these fights we're seeing he's really made looking he is really looking like the star star playing of this team right now and not to mention he is new to this team because as we right before the game we talked to the coaches of these uh, you know t team hunter college and they did say they had they just picked up crispy wonton and he just freshly graduated from high school going against hunter college so i'm very interested in what's in the bit here for his for his debut match and he finds a pick onto Wubop and Emma Weeki finds a complimentary pick onto Oh my Wubop. god! A huge three man bomb from Lingley! He's gonna open this fight wide open! Tyrant, all he has to do is the cleanup for it. Just swing, swing, swing. Hopefully he finds the pick. However, the, the, the bomb's coming in here from, from Chris Wanton is just gonna stop him in his track. 
Hunter Collins is just barely holding on there. Just a fingernails that's holding. That they're just holding on there by their pinky toe. They're not quite get ready to give this point up just yet. They need to do something about this guy, Crispy. He's just going, just raining down Heyman. Hey, hey man. Wow. <laughs> he's just going off with this. Uh, all these bombs right here because he look at his ultimate charge again he just used his ultimate last fight and he has it again so they need to they need to answer for this guy crispy right here and now looks like their also has a nano boost coming up and cool manic is on that doomfist so we might see some upsets coming in the beat oh the huge right comes in but the beat is there to protect against the rip tire maybe chris watson is going to be a bit patient but wait for the sound barrier to wear off a little bit and look at Wuba finds the pick onto the onto the rip tire they don't have to worry about anybody getting picked off just yet um, cool Manic finds the pick onto Jafrizi. This is so huge. Ling Ling finds the pick onto Regza. Help from his team. It looks like Kokomori is just on to, he's on the catwalk. He's on top of the ship going head to head with Ling Ling. And Hunter College losing their grip here after a long and resilient hold. They were really, they were really potent on their defense here on the second point. Oh my god, Cool Manic is just doing so much work on that Doofus right now. Getting these crucial picks, uh, uh, picks right here. But looks like it's actually extremely effective. The high is gonna come out here. Is it gonna find anybody yet? Quite yet. Trick is gonna get in a bad position. He finds the pick on the RBM. They don't have the speed. They don't have the sound barrier. And Rex is gonna fall as well. Looks like Hunter College. They're dropping like flies. They're, it's all oh, no. Let me get back on the point. Just a little bit too early. Fall into the hands of the of the dragon. And there's gonna be cool maniac versus Emma Ouija here. It's head to head. He he gets help. He gets the nano boost. It, it's a it seems to be like a two man show here. Wubop and Cool Maniac are going head to head. The engine comes off for both teams. And Jeffreezy is gonna be on the floor because of a huge shadow from Tyrant. He's a bit of an unsung hero here. He's holding this down. He has the health necessary. He's gonna fall into the hands of Chris Wanta. Uh, Wubop is gonna find the anti -nade. And after a strong hold, after it looked like there was no more, Huguenot finds the checkpoint. And they find some salvation. They get a bit of extra time. They have one minute left on the clock. They are on a they're on a bit of a roll. They get the momentum stopped just a little bit by Emma Ouija. And looks like they're switching up the comp. Once again, Tyrant is gonna be over onto the Hammond with the with the huge high grounds. They're gonna have a good chance to get uh, some potent swings off. Cool yeah. Mori falls off the map. Um I guess he's switching to Zarya. Yeah, yeah, he is yes, switching, he to is Zarya. switching to Zarya. And you know, at this point, if the Doomfist is doing so much work, you want, might want to go to Zarya. Yeah, Crispy wants on to take it notes because he's on the Doomfist himself. Arbium is gonna have a sun barrier line. He wants to make sure that Rex doesn't fall anytime soon. And looks like Trigger is onto the Genji. They're making a bunch of DPS swaps, you cannot start. And they're just gonna they're gonna get forced out. Well, you know, that was a good run for Team New Rock right there, they did a lot. There was a very good clutch coming in. Boobop and Cool Manic just, you know, battling out, battling it all out with raw mechanics and just game sense right there. That was very nice of them. And we need to see that clutch come in right now. Because if not, they will not take this map at all. They only have 16 seconds. They need to make something happen right here now. Yeah, Cool Manic needs to find the pick. They get the sound barrier, or pre the sound barrier. They're going to go on really aggressive. They need to find the pick ASAP before their sound barrier wears off and they're just in a bad position. Oh. Speaking of bad position, Tyrant is sleeping on the job and he's in the last place he wants to be taking a nap. As he waves up here, he, he gets on enough beauty to see me. He's gonna go in, he's gonna attack the point. He's gonna go in for an aggressive play. The Freezy falls low, but the anti is there for him. A, few, a lot of kills coming out here from Hunter College. Regza and Chris Mwantan again. All the picks necessary. Cool Manic hasn't fallen yet, but he falls to the hands of RBM. Regza finds the, um, the shatter onto Trigger. And Hunter College are gonna be up 2 0 in this series. Now. It was a strong push from Huguenots from that second point. However, they just get stopped in their tracks. They don't have an answer for all the damage coming in. Yeah, oh. that was really clutch from both teams coming in. They We did see some clutch bombs, you know, clutch points. But, you know, Hunter College just came out on top just because, you know, sheer teamwork. Because it just looked like there was times where people would get slept and they were not being woke by the team. Just like we saw in the first, uh, last point when Tyron went in for this nice swing on the kill on the Ana, he got slept and he was not uh, woken up by the team. So these things like that really needs to, you know, th these things like that usually go on. So, you know, I'm really excited to see wh what could happen, all, uh, you know, and... I'm, you know, both both, both yeah. of these teams playing really well. So what are you expecting from these teams right now? Well, Hunter College has been really dominant in the series so far. They are currently 2-0. Now, Huguenots, they, we need to find the answer, honestly. First it was a Sombra, and next it was a um, Crispy Wonton on the Junkrat just being really dominant. They just need to stick to what they know.
you know, play their best characters, be, make the swaps necessary, and and honestly just counter their picks because they're they. Hunter College is making some very bold team composition choices, and I feel like Huguenots are able to, ex they, they should be able to exploit that. We see Cool Maniac pop off all the time on the Genji, and we also see him pop up on the Doomfist. However, we have seen him last time when they played against Hunter College. We've seen him play the Farah. So, you know, Farah might not have been the best choice on second point. However, it is, it is indoors, but it should have been maybe explored. They just didn't have it answered. Well, you know, I personally think that coming into this comp, you know, these two teams looks like Hunter College does have the, you know, more play time as a team together and you know that really could come out a long way but you know both teams are doing really well and I'm really liking what I'm seeing with from both teams you know some very bold DPS you know in the GOATS meta you, get you know very first. yeah very nice DPS you know compositions and you know it, it's fun to watch and you know I'm excited to see what they could bring out these are young players they have a lot of fire they have a lot of energy and they want to you know go at it so you know, all this coming in together, we have seen some great stuff from ML Luigi and Crispy. Like, wow. Yeah. What a game for debut game. Like, he's doing amazing. You know, every single map, you know, he was on fire. Every single fight, he was doing so much. So, you know, I'm shout out to Crispy for his first in the first game. Just, you know, great job. You know, but yeah, as Hunter, Col uh, as uh, New Rock, uh, Team New Rock, you really need to understand how to exploit him. And when he's playing that Junkrat, he was just getting free farm and free, you know, free damage left and right, which should not have been done, you know. So I feel like as a team, New Rochelle needs to understand when to capitalize on things and how to capitalize on things when they see. And, you know, sometimes you just have to make these bold decisions to go in, especially if you're playing dive, you know. So... You know, props to both teams for doing so well so far, and you know I'm excited to see the next map. Looks like the next map we map we will have in the Temple of Anubis. Yeah. You know, we have not seen that map in a while. Not you know in not neither in the competitive scene of Overwatch or you know these two teams play. So this is the first time these two teams are playing in this map. So it looks like the loser did have to pick which you know which which was Team New Rochelle, and they picked. Temple of Anubis. Now, what are we expecting from here? This is a huge Widow map. Yeah, this is a very potent Widow map. Now, I want to touch on, I want to touch base on one thing that's a bit different with Huguenots in the, in the sense that Ling Ling is now on the off tank role, where it's triggered on the on the um, DPS role. So we do, you know, both are very competent each of their roles. However, we did see Ling Ling's extremely potent Widow on the previous map, so we might not see it triggered. Trigger has proved himself on Widow on on Gibraltar. He did find the headshot onto Emma Ouija, which opened up the fight really well. However, is it as potent as Ling Ling's? We don't really know. We're going to have to find out. And it looks like Huguenots are going to be starting this off here with a bunker composition. And honestly, it, it could be potent. Bunker is really extremely strong. And now, oh, looks like they're making the switch. However, well, speaking of Temple of Anubis as a whole, if we get to see Crispy Wanton play more junk, right? I can see him get a lot of value on the second point. Ha! Huh. That is a very interesting Tyrant, the main tank player, is going over to the junk, right? Kind of, just, I guess, challenging almost Crispy Wanton. He's, he's claiming his territory. Maybe, I mean, he has a golden, you know, golden gun, so maybe this could be very big. Now, we're seeing Ling Ling on the, you know, on the Orissa, and we're seeing Triggered on D.Va. So this is a lot of team composition changes are coming through. Wubop is on Zen, which he's mostly... And they're going to go for a really early dive here. No holding back, no setting up. They saw something and they pounced. Look before you leap. He left before he even looked. And it looks like Ling Ling is going to get pushed back a little bit. Um, Wubop is going to get caught up by the Sombra. It's finished off by the Genji. And the Hunter Cloud managed to keep their footing. They're getting really aggressive here, and it's working out. The Lingling finds a pick onto Rexa. Hunter Cloud doesn't have their main tank. They don't have their spearhead anymore. Cool Minute falling low. Can he deal with the Genji in time? No. Crispy Wanton is in the backline. He's just doing. He's getting free kills. Looks like Hunter Cloud found their own Cool Maniac. He's getting really aggressive here. Can he find the pick onto Trigger? That's all he needs to get. Oh! The Note the Anthony comes out. Trigger is extremely low. Jafrizi, it's Lingling holding on for his dear life. And he doesn't quite find it. A bold composition choice by Huguenots, but it almost worked out, but not quite. Yes, almost worked out. We see some, you know, they burnt down 
Kogomori so fast when he went in for the first dive, but it looks like their support lineups are just getting cut out left and right by Team Hunter College. You know, Hunter College really knows how to take care of the back line and, you know, how to make them pay for these, you know, so, uh, comp uh, positioning uh, errors. And seeing Sexy Buck back on the... Seeing Sexy Buck back on the Sombra is going to be real potent here because before Hugo Nuts didn't necessarily have an answer to it. However, Tyron finds a pick on the Crispy Wonton. The Nano Boost is going to come out here. Rexa is is in the mix of things. He's just getting a lot of feet damage. Remember, he is Nano Boosting. He has a Primal up. He doesn't use it. He doesn't have a chance to use it. He's going to get taken down by Ling Ling. And Cool Minute finding the, the one pick on RBM. Now they need to be very careful coming into this next fight because they should know Sexy Back does have his ultimate because he's been on that Sombra for two fights now. And you know, Sombra's usually built ultimates very fast. So they should have an idea coming into that. And you know, the com the problem with running a bunker com a bunker composition against a Sombra is the fact is once that EMP comes out, there's really not much you could do as a bunker composition yeah. because everything you want to use is offline. And it looks like he's gonna get caught in the chat. Tyron Ruler, really aggressive. Um, Riptide, it doesn't find much, and he's gonna fall into the hands of Christy Wonsam. Christy Wonsam, speaking of which, has his Dragon Blade. It can be huge here. Bambi finds the pick onto Rexa. They don't have a main tank. Bambi's gonna fall to the hands of the D-Bomb. Once again, Wulo finds the pick onto Christy Wonsam. No Dragon Blade is gonna come out. Oh and my god! Maniac is gonna find the High Noon, and the hat is gonna come out, but it's not gonna find much. Because Wolf is coming huge right now. Yeah, he is. He's done a lot for his team so far. He finds a lot of value. He finds the pick onto Christy Wonsam. I think it was during the Dragon Blade while it was in fact. And no, he, he actually killed Crispy before he uh, even tranced. He took down Crispy right before he tranced. He tranced, he saved his team, and then took out the Sombra. Wow! That was that was just beautiful seeing support, support players pop off. You know, little Jonak right here, as we like to call it. But, you know, we want to mention Hunter College. Oh! oh it that's looks like Tyrion Fritz finds a free pick onto Sexy Box. You know, nothing was invested, but it was really potent. Hunter College still has the opportunity to push in a bit here, as Sombra is a character that is able to respawn and rejoin the team really quickly. Yeah, and Sombra ultimates, as we're looking at, you know, Hunter College does not have that many ultimates online, where, you know, New Rochelle High School does have at least one ultimate coming already there and two more ultimates almost online. So, you know, ultimate economy-wise, uh, New Rochelle High School is up, but Hunter College, if they take a right fight and the right picks, yeah. they should be able to win this. Bambi does, is going to have an amplification matrix up, and with using the correct position, it can be really calling as a, a lot of members of Bunker Comp does have the projectile or hit scan damage. And it looks like Ling Ling is going to get caught out of mech. I mean, he's going to get caught out. Taken down by Crispy, by Crispy Wonton. And Rex is going to find the pick on the trigger, taking him out of mech and taking him out when he has no suit. Yeah. I knew he's going to come out from Cool Maniac. I don't think he's going to find much as the Winston Shield is in the way. Bambi doesn't quite find the point in time. And it looks like Hunter College is going to be able to take both points with some time remaining. They didn't even necessarily push them back to overtime. Let's see how much time they have left. Oh, 3 minutes 53 seconds. Wow. That's a result of the hard work it put in for the first point. And, you know, that was such a clean dive from Hunter College at the last team fight. They realized that the McCree from Team Nirashala High School was not with his team. So they just dove in really hard with the Winston and the Diva that they had and the Doomfist. That's, those are some very high mobility characters that could just, within a blink, they could be, they could relocate. So they used that mobility and just really hard dove their, you know, McCree, Cool Maniac, who was doing actually a lot, a lot of damage, who was outputting a lot of damage. Yeah. And, you know, to top it off, uh, to top it off, Sexy Back was also turning to the second point to help them out. So, you know, at that point, once that was lost, there was no way Hunter College could have really came back because their, uh, Sexy Back also had an EMP coming in. So, you know, I would say really really impressive stuff we're seeing from Hunter College right here. Some very interesting dive composition. And, you know, not to mention, we've seen some crazy stuff from Hunter uh, New Rochelle High School yeah. too. Well, the main tank. The hit scan actually. And main tank playing the junk crack. It did work out <laughs> for, some, for a it lot did, of people. It did, it did. He did pretty well. He did pretty well. Props yeah. to him. Well, Maniac. Being on the McCree was, he did put out a lot of damage, as you said, but as we know, he does play really aggressive, and he normally plays characters such as like Doomfist, Farrer, Genji, characters that are able to slip easily in and yeah. out. And playing so that, that having that aggressive position on a character like McCree who only has roll, 
isn't very oh, isn't ideal choice. We're seeing Sexy Bag back on that Ash. He was the hard carry last time these two teams faced off. He did so much for his team on Ash before. So let's see what he could do right now. And cool mini finds a pick on the Arbium. That might just be all they need. They don't have the Discord. They don't have to worry about taking a lot of unnecessary damage out of nowhere. And cool mini, he's sneaky. He is a ninja after all. He's on the Hanzo. He's found the pick already. Trick is gonna fall. He's gonna burn. You know that still can get pretty hot sometimes, even as a ninja. You know Egypt. I don't know how. I don't know how hot it is over there, but it kind of burns. Yeah, Ligling gets a pick actually on Sexy Bag, but they a are. Huge Anthony is gonna come out there from Kogamori. But however, the the bubble is gonna be able to cleanse it. Crispy wants to get a really aggressive boost up bomb. Just trying to find some hold. Tyrant, his shield is dropping really low. And you're gonna have to kind of nestle themselves in. They're kind of like a hornet's nest. They're in that little top roof, and there's nothing that they can do about it. And Lingling is really high charge on the Zarya. So if they could take, you know, if they could utilize this uh, Zarya right now, they could come up Crispy big right now. Find extremely low. He's gonna get picked up. Crispy wants on, is gonna get picked up early. Now that means that Tyrant and the rest of Tyrant and his friends are gonna have to jump on the point. Clean. Clean the position. Cool Minic finally get another headshot on the second box. Lingling is in the point. He's animated. He doesn't have, he has no shield actually. He's falling a bit low, but a decisive victory from Huguenot. They're taking this point. They were really clean about it. Cool Minic found his two picks. Lingling managed to get a lot of charge off. He was very high energy. However, he, he only managed to get 50% towards old. However, maybe a different uh, path finding would have led to Lingling having maybe 70% old or 80% old as he would have got a lot of damage in onto the main tank. Yeah, definitely. And all Bambi gets caught out right yeah, as Bambi I was Bambi gets caught out once again. Um, yeah, but what I want to really, you know, look, uh, you know, highlight from Lat's fight is that they did a good job keeping Ling Ling high energy and ke uh, keeping him uh, alive, which he, he was just was able to just emit so much damage to everybody. And, you know, they're doing a very, a very smart decision right here. They know that Crispy will run this Junkrat, so why not just go to Zarya and you know, exploit that Junkrat and his free, free, free damage that's coming in. Exactly. Now, Lingling is getting he's getting closer and closer towards his Graviton first. Now, Blue Minic is going to have to Dragon Strike like the combo with it. RPM is going to have a chance to some launch counter. However, for the time being, Rex is going to get Nano boosted. And Tyrant's going to get a free shatter. It's going to be huge. He's going to find it. He's going to find the stuns necessary. But he's not going to be able to push it quite yet. He's half out. Now he's Nano boosted. Now we're talking. He's going to get put down to half once again. Oh. He's going to find the pin onto Crispy Wanton. I don't care if we're going to elbow drop. I'm just going to put you into the wall. Cool man, they find it. Get another pick onto Rex. The lava's going to come out here. Triggered. Is he going to find the pick onto... Onto Jeffreezy, not quite as he's gonna get a hook to the face. Trigger is gonna fall a bit low. Cool Manic is gonna burn in the lava. And Tyrant's gonna strand it. He's kinda stranded out there. This should not have been happening right now. A Torbion by himself holding in point. That was a very interesting ult from uh, coming from uh uh, I, I don't even know who was supposed to be there. You go. Jeff Freezy, a <laughs> quick little swap from uh, the healers to make that Torbjorn work. But, you know, that was a very important ultimate right there. And they did not focus fire the Torbjorn down. So he was just able to use his, his, use his abilities and stay up so long. And as we're talking, Wubop gets really aggressive. Down. Yeah, Chris wants on really aggressive on that Doomfist. Just going out there, finding the uppercut kill, putting Huguenots at a huge disadvantage without that main healer. Definitely, and he's going back to the point just to take care of other people that are coming out of the spawn, and that's a very, you know, very good strat to work with. Oh my God, this guy is so aggressive. Yeah, he's going in. He's getting a lot of damage off, and he's really close to his goal. He can go for a really uh, aggressive um, lane rollout next time. And it looks like it's a huge shatter from Rexa. He's gonna find the he's gonna find the stunts onto all the members of the Huguenots, and the picks are gonna come out from Sexy Box on the tree too, zipping in and out. Getting a lot of damage off with the 40 bullets available for him. And Tyrant is going to get nano boosted despite the fact that they lost a lot of their members. And you're going to seem to just be slipping up here. Oh. A really aggressive guy. He's not finding anything. Tyrant, I think the frustration is coming out there. As you can, it's visible here. Yes, and there that should not have been happening right now. The team communication doesn't look like the team com communication is really there. You know, they should have backed off after all that. After taking the ultimate and the nano investment, they should have just backed off. You know, a lot of interesting swaps are coming out right now. Tyron going into that wrecking ball. And, you know, we do have Ling Ling's dragon. So if they can make this, you know, uh, if they can make this graviton surge and, the, you know, the dragon from 
Who may it work in this comp in this next fight? Then we could might be able to see. Looks like Goof is getting really aggressive again here, and Trigger is just gonna stun him and shut him down. The Dragon Strike Graviton combo, as I predicted, is coming out here. However, the Transcendence is there to keep everybody alive. The Zombie is gonna come out to keep Huguenot stronger. He's more buffed up with that extra health. Cool Manic is gonna find the pick onto RBM once again, and Rex is gonna fall extremely low there. Baby finding the pick onto him. He's just falling extremely low. He has to get out. He's he's super low. Hell, he finds a pick. Sexy bot getting really aggressive there. He's sticking his neck out. 15 health only, and he doesn't seem to get caught. There's just no stunts from Team New Rochelle to take care of this Tracer that is just harassing their backline left and right yeah. because Wubop cannot really heal when he has to worry about a Tracer going behind him and just uh, you know, constantly the putting, pick on the putting damage. Early yeah. out there, you, you know, Sexy Bop. Hunter College in general actually are taking, they have taken up real estate in Huguenot's own turf. In Huguenot's own turf. You see Crispy Wanton and Sexy Bok ready to just go for the, a really aggressive dive here. And because they have the mobility, they are able to escape. They're able to escape, you know, wash their hands clean and, you know, not invest too much, not be worried. And Trick is going to get put into the wall. His spine is going to be fractured. That, that's a very strong punch. Right there, Sexy Bok finding the pick. DPS duo in that stairwell. They don't seem to care who comes for them because they're going to put them down. Oh. And the sleep comes out there onto Sexy Bok, kind of punishing him for his aggressiveness. And the cool Crispy Wanton. Where is he gonna land? Where is he gonna land? Oh, Bambi gets caught up by the uh, fire strike. Hail Mary fire strike from Rexus right there. Throwing that from downfield. And Crispy Wanton, is he defending point A? He's like he's behind them right there. They don't have an answer for him. They really need to do, do something. Do they even about know there? They really need to do something about this, you know, Doomfist and Tracer right now because they're just constantly ripping out their I, I don't know if you should be chasing them like this but you know that is a very interesting choice and right as we speak Kokomori does get a kill on the you know, yeah. bop right here on and cool maniac putting him Bambi gets caught into the crevice of the gate the pulse bomb is there for him and cool maniac is gonna find the pick onto RBM counter pick and the shadow is gonna come out here it's gonna find the stun onto cool maniac that might just be all they need that's their potent damage right there that's their one shot kill potential and it's a bit of a scramble fight this is a bit of a team that's match more of a more of a 2 CP map Tyron's gonna lay his lines onto the point. He's gonna spread. He's gonna spread his crop. And Kokomori, high charge there, just finding the, the finding the 190 DPS needed to get Ling Ling out of his mech. Wubop is gonna get uppercutted there. The nade is on the floor, but uh, but Wubop isn't. So he doesn't get the heal off it. Cool man can just find a pick after stag the pick. Tyrant is gonna get caught out there. The nade, the the Graviton, and there's only 15 seconds left. You can have to just scrambling for an answer here. Bambi is gonna just race. He's gonna flap his wings. He's gonna try his hardest just to reach the point. The seven second left. He's falling a bit low, and he doesn't quite make it. Looks uh, like three seconds. Is there any way that you can are able to reach this point? And I don't think so. Yeah, there isn't. It just looked like Team New Rochelle just didn't have any answers for the back line or any protection for their healers because their healers were just getting constantly harassed. And as we talk about healers, RBM does get the play of the game. So we're really interested to see what this guy was doing. So much things for uh, so much thing for his team. It was a transcendence to save them against the Graviton. And Rexo was falling extremely low there, but 300 heals a second. There you need a lot of focus fire to be able to counter that. Exactly. To outweigh that transcendence. It is possible. However, you know, I, I just don't think the focus fire was there for the most part. No, I don't think so too. A lot of times we've seen different people chasing different, you know, different characters from the other team. You know, you really don't want to do that as a team based game or team you know in a team environment you really need to call out your targets and focus them down because if not they'll just get healed and you're just not going to be able to confirm those kills and that's yeah. what we saw a lot of times which hunter college did a beautiful job of they stayed put both of the dps stayed together they knew who they're going to go for they knew their targets and they just hard dove them and team new Rochelle just didn't have any answers for that and that's what really hurt them yeah, it seems like towards the end that they lost a lot of the grip. They were just they were just doing very reckless things, very not necessarily things towards that achieve the team goal. They were getting picks off here and there. However, it didn't really amount to anything. Cool Maniac will get a pick after you know, let's say the rest of the members of Huguenots had died. Or Tyron would be on the point, you know, dropping his mind where the back line, Woobop and Bambi, are getting dove by both.
crispy exactly. and sexy. Exactly, and there's just nothing they could do or nothing they could, you know, think of to even come up with. So, you know, that was the biggest problem. Um, we'll have some technical issues taking resolve right now. So, you know, Romy will be here talking with you guys right now. I'll be right back. Yeah. So we did notice how in the last, you know, head-to-head, -head, the last match that they went with, we didn't really get to see 2CP. However, we did get to see Cool Maniac, you know, perform a lot on the Genji, on the DPS role. And it seems like since that last engagement, since that last match that they had, Hunter College was able to find an answer for it. They were able to stun, they were able to stun and counter Cool Maniac in total. They didn't really have an answer. They didn't really have an answer for him. With Cool Maniac being able, getting shut down, they, you know, they kind of lost, they lost their fuel. They didn't have enough drive, per se. And, you know, maybe, you know, who knows, this is speculation here, but it could have possibly came from a, a swap in, a swap in roles, Lingering being on the off tank, where Trigger being on the DPS role, it has, it's, it might be a little bit too different, and that might have been a deciding factor. Who knows where it seems like towards the end, especially on that Temple of Anubis map, it seemed like they just threw away all strategy, all kind of, you know, they do caution to the wind and just went for it. You know, maybe they had fun, maybe they didn't, but what they didn't really do, they didn't get the win. We, like, they need to be more on top of dealing with counters. They need to be on top of finding out what's causing them problems and finding a solution to it. Overwatch is a game where each character has a specific counter to them, where some counters are less obvious than others. You know, counters, let's say a counter to Pharaoh would be a hit scan DPS, such as Soldier or McCree or Widow, where counters as characters like Sombra would be a stun. It's not a character per se, but a certain way of playing. You play more aggressive, you play closer together with your team, and you make it a really scary place for Sombra to come out. Now, Huguenots didn't really address that, and Hunter College, time after time again, as Huguenots went through that front gate, you know, they had the Doomfist, they had the Slam, they had the Tracer, just harassing their backline. They were just getting terrorized back there, and there just wasn't enough answer for them. We saw Cool Maniac switch over to the, to the Doomfist himself to catch out Crispy, but... You know, it just wasn't enough. They didn't have enough. They didn't have enough wind, you know, beneath their wings to find the second point. They had a very competent first point take, but it just kind of seemed to stop there. Now, that was a really exciting match. However, you know, both teams played phenomenally. They they both played really competently. The DPS roles were really exciting to watch, and you know that's what Overwatch is about. As long as you're having fun, it's, it's an exciting game to watch. We did see Cool Mania. We saw Crispy pop off. We also saw big shatters. They might have flew under the radar just a little bit. We saw big shatters from Regza and Tyrant. We also saw the support roles popping off. Jeffreezy getting time after time again a potent, a really strong multi-man anti nade cutting off the healing completely from Huguenots and it just made it really easy for them to get torn wide open. Now, I've been your caster Romy and you've been joined by Pink Guy as well. And you know that was a very uh, that was a very excellent match and we look forward to seeing you again.